Hey, what's going on? You doing okay? That was a little less effective than I expected. That's all right. Come back. We'll try again. Quit dancing around. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow, you're durable, aren't you? Unbelievable. I don't even know. Like, let's just get personal, huh? Are you still dead? Those freak me out bad. I'm surprised how many shots he took. I probably wasn't landing them quite as well as I thought I was. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest, and this is Half-Life Alex, episode two uh, for my series playing through this game. And I have picked up right where I left off last time. Uh, first episode, really enjoyed myself. Feel like I made pretty smooth progress for me. I'm really enjoying the game a lot. Uh, full disclosure, I played it once before, about maybe halfway through, when I first got into VR back on a Windows Mixed Reality headset. Uh, but I've forgotten pretty much all of that, so I feel like I'm playing it for the first time. I'm really enjoying myself, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as well. In my opinion, uh, could be the best VR game I've ever played for its type of game, if you're into that. And I know, like, I don't have full body. There's probably mods and stuff to fix that. I might do some research eventually, but so far, like, I don't want for anything from the experience. Like, this has been really great uh i'm playing on an oculus quest 2 i'm playing uh via air link from my pc and uh so far really smooth excellent performance so couldn't be better having a great time uh i feel like hey, i hey russell i just found a loose syringe of god knows what is this medicine yeah does it have a skull and crossbones on it i don't see one Probably medicine, then. I'm a little less chatty on this game than maybe some other games I've played. Do you hear that? I didn't like that. It's okay. Oh, boy. Hey, little buddy. Yeah, that's... that's I don't know if that'll explode go. on its own, or if I need to help yeah, it. It will explode on its own. Consider that a successful test of the theory. Anyway, I'm a little less chatty because the game is chatty. But, and honestly, talking to you guys, strangely, hey, what's going on? You doing okay? That was a little less effective than I expected. That's all right. Come back. We'll try again. Quit dancing around. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow, you're durable, aren't you? Unbelievable. I don't even know. Like, let's just get personal, huh? Are you still dead? Those freak me out bad. I'm surprised how many shots he took. I probably wasn't landing them quite as well as I thought I was. I don't remember if I'm supposed to go... I mean, I'm probably supposed to go that way. But uh, that means I should loot here first. I love the gravity oh, just so you know, the Russells have a built-in display. It shows you resin, ammo, you know, it might come in handy. Got it. Thanks. Cool. Where's the ammo count? Is that on the Russell? Oh, there it is. That's cool. Everything about this game feels so well done. Feels so well thought through. I really wish they'd make more content for it. Not that I've finished the game yet, but just because it is so well done. Granted, I don't have a ton of experience with a lot of VR games. This one so far, in my opinion, is the best. Like, it, it's... everything just works so well. It... I don't know. If there's some game out there that I... that, you know, based on that comment, whether it's accurate or not... Uh, am I still wearing that damn hat? I am. I've been wearing that for a long time. Um, anyway, what I tried to say is if, you know, that comment that I seem to think that this is the, like, premier, premium, whatever, VR experience, and I'm wrong, then I would love to know 
if I'm wrong, because that means that there's some other awesome experience out there that I haven't tried yet. And let's, uh, I want to make sure I get as many of these as I can. Here you go, little buddy. That went super well. Gross. Surprisingly gross. Oh, I caught it. I thought I missed. Oh boy. Yeah, be careful. The game is pretty creepy. It's actually made a little better by the fact that I'm talking to you guys. Oh my. You there. There. Are you dead? You stay dead? Fantastic. Easy. Guns work so well. Doesn't hit very hard, but just feels so good. I want to save my ammo. I don't know how much ammo I need. And this, the game so far has given me totally adequate ammunition. Easy. Man, those are the noises they make are absolutely awful. Yo, buddy. Satisfying. Let's check this room out. I think this, for some reason, I think this is the upgrade room. Like, I don't remember a lot, but I'm pretty sure this is the upgrade room. Anything else? I think that's a... Alex, that's like a I think health that's a combine fabricator. Put something in it. I want to see how this thing works. Got it. Will it work on the wrestles? No, but it should fix up that pistol nicely. Good thing, too. I gave you one of my lesser guns. Thanks, Russell. Well, you know, in case it doesn't make it back. Tell you what, Russell. If I die, I owe you a gun. You owe me a gun anyway. That wasn't a gift. That's my gun. I don't have enough resin. I don't have enough resin. I don't really need the reflex sight. Like, I'd rather save up and get the laser sight than worry about the reflex sight, because I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm having pretty good success just aiming it kind of instinctually. So, I'm not going to waste my resin. Full health, so I don't need to heal. We'll move on down the line. If I find more resin, I'll come back. I thought, like, really thought that I was finding a lot of resin as I played, so I'm a little surprised that I only have enough you there. What I need is to be able to do more damage. So good. So good. <laughs> Very satisfying. Got one bullet left in there. And I feel like I shouldn't just eject the magazine and waste it, so... All right. Can you bust the glass? Satisfying. Damn. Those are just nasty. 
just nasty. Half-Life is especially good at this very simple puzzle like that. And I think this is true of the, the old Half-Life games, especially Half-Life 2 anyway. They do such an excellent job of uh, presenting a puzzle that's not really that challenging, but you oh, feel super... Thanks. Daniel, you feel... Talk about quit talking. I'm trying to have a conversation here. This thing isn't that bad. Um... The puzzles in a Half-Life game do an excellent job of making you feel very smart for figuring them out. They're not necessarily the most challenging, but the game design is so good that it just does a perfect job of presenting the answer to you without feeling like it's holding your hand and being uninteresting. I hope that makes sense. That's something I felt was especially true about Half-Life 2. I remember, you know, kind of... Ooh, supply box. Scratch my face there. Well, you kind of automatically cover your mouth. That's cool. Actually, I think that's a mechanic for later, if I remember right. Anyway, you don't want a game where the puzzles are so easy that you're just kind of going through the motions. But you also don't want to beat your head against them too long. And me, being especially not all that bright... Uh, I am very grateful for puzzles that appear more difficult than they really are, and whenever you solve them, you're like, I'm the smartest guy in the whole world. I felt like the Portal games did that really well, also. Which is that? that? Startled me. Not gonna lie. Like I said, barely noticed him. Really? Too heavy? Whatever. Where'd he go? Bastard. Where'd it go? Any loot in here? Need all the resin I can get. There's probably a crouch button that I can't remember. <gasps> you there. Yep, Man, there I need the... Found him. Horrible. I don't know why that freaked me out. That was horrible pistol work, but I'll take it. Really, in a game like this, almost like a Resident Evil, the ammo is not infinite, so you can't just be spraying like an idiot like that. But then again, I don't really recall. I got two, two of them. Don't like you. That is so creepy. Oh my goodness. Not good. Jesus. Those freak me out way worse than the zombies do. So they move kind of like a spider. Incidentally, the, the biggest scream I ever did in a video game was grounded. As I was playing along and one of those stupid wolf spiders jumped out at me. Scared me. Like, fortunately, I always wondered. I always wondered if, if startled bad, you know, would I scream like uh, a feminine scream? Or would I scream in a masculine way? And I'm proud to say, I screamed like a man. And that's better than, I guess, otherwise. Uh, loading screen. Hopefully you guys can see these because, again, I don't know if you can. I'm recording this, like, back-to-back -back with the other episodes, so I haven't edited it to know whether or not you're seeing a black screen or the loading screen with the menu. Heard anything about Dad, Russell? No. Radio silence since he got on the train. Damn it. Well, the good news is he's probably fine. How do you know that? Because they're taking him to Nova Prospect to torture him. That's the torture place. So they're hardly going to torture him before they get there. So he's fine. Come on, jump, little bastard. What up, punk? Something about bare flesh. Fleshy mobs. Something about that. Don't like it. Don't like it. One of those HP bugs around here somewhere. Ammo. You scared the shit out of me, and I didn't like it. Bastard. It's 
Startled me good. Startled me good. Uh, nothing else of interest. Come here, box. Come here. We got a window to bust out. Well, that was... I don't think this is really necessary, but something something about climbing through a window with a whole bunch of glass on it troubles me. Okay. Wow. Character models in this are so detailed for a VR game, it's unreal what they've achieved. Ooh. That there is a floppy disk. We used 93 games. On them with magnets, if you can believe it. Huh. Specifically, two micrometers magnetic iron oxide, three micrometers barium ferrite, a 1.2... The wrestle? How do you know all this? I'm reading it here on my computer. I downloaded the internet before the war. You downloaded the entire internet? Yeah, uh, most of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah it is. I remember installing games on discs like that. We, uh, TIE Fighter, one of my favorite games on PC when I was young, uh, required five diskettes to install. Oh, it all tangled up there. Put it in a little drive, grind and make all kinds of horrible noises for a long time, then you'd have to put it in the next disc. That game also, TIE Fighter, uh, had a very interesting security to make sure you had installed the game is when you turn the game on, it would ask you to look to a certain page in the manual, because games used to come with manuals, and there would be something, I believe, along the bottom of the page that you then had to put in to play the game. And that's how they tried to keep people from stealing the game, as if, as if that couldn't be overcome by some means, you know what I mean? This looks so good. Anyway, I love TIE Fighter. Had me a Sidewinder joystick. Russell, are you seeing this? Eventually uh, upgraded to... Are you floating garbage? It looks like it's just cardboard. Right. Well, it seems harmless. Yeah. Weird, though. Anyway, eventually upgraded to a Sidewinder 2, I think it was, and you could twist it like this. And that was significantly better than my first joystick that I had. Uh... I used to play MechWarrior 2. I loved that game. But I'm old, right? I'm the oldest human I know. Even the people that claim to be older than me, I don't really believe it. Uh, I started playing games when I was young. I had an Atari 2600. Uh, my first new console was an NES. Somebody else has been smashing bugs. And that was a pretty cool system in its day, let me tell you. Punch out, breakthrough, really cool stuff. And then... What is that? My favorite retro console, I would say. Now, they're retro now. They weren't retro at the time. I remember wanting one and finally getting one. The Super Nintendo had so many good games. I don't really remember this puzzle, so this is going to take me a minute. I hit a button over here, but it, I seem to remember the clue being a little more obvious than that, but we'll see. Um, you and you. What's that do? I wonder if, like, any of those boxes down there pressed here would open this. Anyway, the Super Nintendo games, in my opinion, have, have aged extremely well. I don't think that's true of the NES titles. 
I don't think that's true of uh, Nintendo 64 titles, but there was a point there where that kind of the 16-bit art uh, still looks good today, and those games still play well today. And like Alex, Super Mario you World. All right? What's wrong? I'm fine, Russell. What's up? I'm losing your signal, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Russell? Russell? Crap. Don't go to Raven home. Anyway, that art from the 16-bit games and the Super Nintendo and stuff, in my opinion, still looks good today, and the games were designed so well. That was such a good console generation for me. I loved those games. And that was back when I was young and had, like, tons of gaming stamina. You remember... You could play for just hours and kind of figure out everything there was to figure out in a game. And nowadays, you know, I play for an hour, I'm kind of tired. So, I've seen it. Anyway, I don't know how I got on that subject. This is really cool, and I think I meet someone through this door. And that's probably going to be the end of the episode after I do that. This has been another good episode. I am really enjoying this game. This is such a cool environment, too. Ding. 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 Oh. The Alex Vance. <laughs> wow. It is such a good job on that eye. Did? Come. Enter. Okay. Thanks. You are welcome. So, what's that Vortigaunt doing here? Cooking. Right, but I mean, in general. So gross. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry. My brain is injured. That's terrible, Ow. and I hope... Look, I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. The... Eli... Eli Bans. Bans. yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine, yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate this it. This way. I can't stick around. I... It is important. I know, I'm sure it is. The Alex Vance must go this way anyway. Okay. Uh oh Vance is honestly very busy saving her dad. You will not save him. He is dead. What? Or he will be. Is or will be? It is a matter of perspective. But Alex Vance alone cannot prevent his fate. I... Look, thank you for everything, but I really have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles? The combine drilled here. I am severed from the vortescence. I am alone in my head. You know how you feel, buddy. I'm sorry. Look, if if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I haven't. Then you will. Courage, 
This is such a good game. Just you awesome. Must go. I am going. I'm going. Quit yelling at me. Quit yelling at me, bro. What the heck? I, I will help the Alex Vans. Look to the northern stuff. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. Uh, I'll eat it later. <laughs> thanks for the help. You will be welcome. Okay. Cool. We'll get through this room and call it. That was a great scene. Dang. Too tall. As is the problem of being 5'10 and a half. You're right at that peak level of male height. Really, any taller? Just obscene. I think I've mentioned that before. I'm stuck. Probably mentioned it before because it comes up regularly as I just happen to be at that premium height. Oh god, loading screen. What a great game. Hopefully you guys can see the loading screen. I'll figure it out if you can't. I'll make some kind of message. This game has a lot of loading screens. Despite the fact I'm playing it on an internal SSD. Is or will be. I'm pretty sure you will be, but that happens in a different game. So I don't know. But like I said, I never finished this before. The detail on this is unreal. And the way your hand doesn't clip through it when you put it up there. That is such a... An immersive touch, I guess. Man, I use that word too much. I have to come up with a different word for liking the way the world reacts with my expectations for the world. Anyway, I'm going to call that an episode. I'm going to be really enjoying this series a lot. If you haven't played this game, I highly recommend it. Uh, and it's playing just beautifully on this Quest 2 via Airlink. Like, I'm not having any Airlink disconnects. I don't understand that because I regularly have hiccups with other games and this has just been smooth perfect feels like i'm connected physically to a computer it's been great uh i appreciate you guys watching i love making these videos i don't know you know if this content's your cup of tea or not hopefully it is hopefully you enjoy something about the content hopefully in some way hanging out with me through these games brightens your day a little bit or entertains you in the smallest way or even helps you pass the time when you're bored uh because I, I really enjoy the comments and the notion that people watch and, and do enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're having a good week. Uh, hopefully you got some great plans for the weekend. Hopefully you're healthy, your family's healthy, everybody's happy. Man, get some good food, have some nice drink, enjoy life, enjoy this hobby, and have a nice day.